All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we are talking about whether or not fig trees are low maintenance or high maintenance. I get this question an awful lot. I think we have the perfect setup behind me to appropriately answer this question. Now, before I get into that, we're gonna talk about today's sponsor for 30 seconds. Today's sponsor is Apollo Neuro. And it's actually this little device I've been wearing on my wrist. You probably have seen it in many of my videos over the last year. I've been wearing it for over a year. And I have to say, it is a wonderful and very helpful device for my own health. And I think it would do the same thing for you guys. It has the ability to raise something called your heart rate variability. So this is an HRV or heart rate variability device. And what it does is it raises it for you and gives you a decent gauge, I think. It really helped me learn what state my nervous system was in. Am I in a fight or flight state? Am I in a relaxed state? And this thing helps me uh, put me in a more relaxed state. And what it does is, very simply, it just vibrates. I know it sounds like voodoo magic at first. <laughs> That's how I was describing it to my friends. I was like, guys, I picked up this vibrating device that makes me feel calm and then i would give it to people let them use it for a session and they would report back a very similar thing um, if i'm ever feeling stressed if i'm ever out of whack and i usually just wear it all day because it has a a setting a system uh, a duration that it goes through and to me it just makes me feel more calm and relaxed so if you guys are somebody who's stressed you work hard we all work really hard this is something you definitely want to check out. And it's in the link. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. Um, I don't really ever get, I don't really have many sponsors, but uh, I figured they're offering a, uh, a way to do a sponsorship for this. I'll just take it upon myself to do and promote something that I actually use and that I actually love. So shout out to them. Anyway. Let's talk about today's topic. Um, again, we're talking about are fig trees low maintenance? And I would say that they are. I think the proof is in the pudding right here because I have fig trees that are planted two foot on center. I mean, they couldn't be any closer planted in the ground and they do not need any extra water, fertilizer, care beyond applying mulch. And I think that's the the critical point. I just planted some younger fig trees in here in this plot, even though I've already got like 60 fig trees in here and they're very close together. I did plant one down here. This is one of my new favorite varieties called Pernet Noir. And you can see there's wood chips down there because I will never plant and grow a fig tree without wood chips. It just makes such a huge difference for the life of the soil, the quality of the soil, uh, the moisture content in the soil. And so as a result, my figs in this plot and really all the plots I have them in are extraordinarily healthy, vibrant, fast growing, fruitful. And uh, that's just, I think, the easy and simple way to put it. Figs are really not very high maintenance. Now, they are, I think, a bit higher maintenance if you choose to grow them in containers. You probably didn't know that Figs can be grown in containers and they are very good container plants. So I have a, a patio over here, probably have somewhere in the range of 200 fig trees now in three or five gallon size pots between multiple properties that I'm growing them in. And these figs do really well in containers. And I think inherently fig trees or any plant in containers are going to be more maintenance. You need to feed them, you have to water them, you have to buy the pot, you have to buy the soil, you have to repot them and put them in a larger pot, you have to root prune them over time if they get really root bound. So there's obviously a lot of cost, more of a cost than just planting it in the soil. And there's of course uh, more work involved. So definitely higher maintenance than planting them in the soil. The fig though, once you do plant them in the soil, is very drought tolerant. They typically do not need a lot of water or nutrients. And that was the point of me showing you guys that. Even trees that are planted so close in a giant hedge 
do not need any care. Now, I'll say this, they do need some care and maintenance during the times of the winter. Because if you live in a zone five, six, or seven, your fig trees are going to need some sort of winter protection. Now in zone 7A, I'm able to grow hardier fig trees, uh, prune them properly. I will protect them for one growing season. And that usually does the trick. If you learn how to prune them, you learn how to protect them. That first growing season is all you really need. And then from that point on, they become very hardy. If you have a really nasty winter, uh, even in the future, let's say, a lot of these trees might take a lot of damage. I may have to protect some trees going forward in my zone 7A. But typically zone 7s were really good, especially zone 7B. Uh, but zones 6 and 5, you can grow them in the ground, but you will have to protect them to some extent. And that's why actually a lot of people grow them in pots. They put them in pots because it's easier to move them out of the winter cold. So a potted fig tree, if you keep it above 15 degrees Fahrenheit all winter time, it'll do really well, it'll survive, and you'll have a lot of success. The in-ground fig trees though, depending on the variety, I would say about five degrees Fahrenheit is the limit for most of them, but you can go down to zero with a handful of varieties. Like this one here is called Little Ruby. It's very early. It's a seedling of Hardy Chicago, another really hardy fig. And actually we have the first fig here on the trees is just swelling here at the end of July. I'm on track to have my first main crop figs once again by the 1st of August. So um, that's fig trees there and whether or not they are low maintenance. So I thank you guys here for watching. Check out the sponsor, like I said, of today's video in the description. We'll see you for the next one. Take care.